I've driven a stock Golf on the channel and when I did, I found it quite underwhelming. The stock figures for this car is 296 brake horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. Not a massive increase over the R32, which I'll cover in a bit. Now this car is stage two tuned and it's producing 432 brake horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. It hasn't been dynoed, so those figures are quite loose. Now, it's one thing to also mention is that this car has got the Haldex four drive system and the engine is obviously a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. The R32, however, features a 3.2 litre naturally aspect VR6 and it produces 247 brake horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. That's a very modest amount of power compared to the mighty Golf R with its tuning potential. Now, this car is also paired with a 6 speed DSG, but it's not the same generation as VW went from this 6 speed, which is first generation, to a 7 speed, and then they went back to the 6 speed in the Golf R, then they went to a 7 speed again in the 7.5. Sounds confusing, I know. But this car is also featuring a Haldex 4 drive system. And I want to give a nice warm return welcome to Abid. Abid, thank you for coming down. No problem, bro. Good to see you again. Yeah, so Abid, we've had you on the channel before with your 118i at the time, wasn't it? Yeah, but sad story about that one. Yeah, so it was that about a, over a year ago, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, just over a year ago now. And um, obviously it led to a very sad demise. Yeah. Uh, an incident that happened. And it's a sad story of how that car was, you know, met its fate, you know, in flames, mm. unfortunately. Yeah. But Nevertheless, let's talk about now and you're, you're like your number plate, Abid up. So you're <laughs> yeah, up now. Always up now. Always you're come literally back, up, exactly. Take the L. And you did it in such a short period, like three, four months. Yeah, three, four, I'm just grinding. You didn't literally, see me. I didn't see him yeah. for three, four weeks. Oh, uh, three, four months, sorry. Just put my head down. Just put your head down, worked, and look where you are. So I'm incredibly happy for you, man. Thank Honestly, you, so Thank happy because uh, no one deserves it more than you. So let's talk about the mods then because you've done a lot to this car. Yeah, there's. So where should I start? Engine. Yep. Uh, well, first of all, my one of my sponsors, IE Integrated Engineering in the yep. US, they sponsored my car. So I've got the IE Intercooler, IE Intake, uh, Inlet, Intercooler. I just say Intercooler. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, TCU B mat, ECU B mat. Uh, we've got the sway bars, front and rear. We've mm. got the end links, and I've got the high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, uh, a couple other bits and bobs, but that's the main main stuff. Yo, know me son, check this out. I'm sponsored by Emble Shop. Yeah. You should get these for your car. Let me show you what they do. Oh, it pops a boot off. Pops a boot. Automatically. Literally, automatically. Must have one for your car. Forget that, bro. You got meth. No, no, no. Skin wash, skin wash. You got meth. No, I don't really think. No, don't put it in. Don't put it in. Don't put it in. You got meth, mate. No, no, skin wash. Open this up, man. In regards to the actual drive, the covert mode feels that sports mode. That's how insanely sensitive that throttle is. Yes. Yeah, it's mental. And then you've mapped the gearbox, I'm guessing? Yeah, so we've got an IE gearbox map. Mm. So as you know, it's much quicker, everything really. Yeah. They do have a rolling launch as well, which is crazy on these. But um, yeah, well, good map to be honest. Yeah. Nice and quick. It's just, yeah. it's just so cool, man, this car. It's so far from a stock Golf R. Yes. And I just love the way you've built it, honestly. Thank the you, bro, the yeah. mods, it's all so tasteful. Yeah, it's only... over the top sometimes, you know. Some cars are overdone. Yeah. This is... Golfers are made to be modified in my Yeah, opinion, they are. They, a stock Golfer just doesn't look good almost. Nah. Talk to me about the brakes, because I'm touching the brakes. The brakes are really good. Yeah, so I've got M-Tech uh, disc and pads. Yep. Uh, we've got braided lines and we've got Miller's uh, brake fluid. So it's like a racing brake fluid. Mm. That all put together is, is as you know, is, is strong. Like, yes. Very, the braking force is very good. Ah! So the car, that's, that, was, that was actually going to be my next point. So I like the way that came in. Car's been lowered. Yeah. And um, 25 the, mil HR springs. The GTI I drove in the last video, that was also lowered. And the, the reason why it was done is because the lower you are to the ground, the more feel you get out of. Go kart as well. Yeah, that when you go around the bends, there's no body roll. Yeah. It's just stuck to the ground and you can really push it to its limit. That's correct. And yeah. then you've got the Haldex already on top of that, which yeah, you can yeah. play around with. The Haldex is also fitment, obviously. Absolutely. Lower yeah. the better. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to an extent. Um, need to also give a shout out to Rizuals, who's sat in the back. Happy people. And the funny part is, Rizuals uh, is not sitting on a seat. Uh, yeah, Abby, do you want to explain that? 
Uh, custom bucket seats just for Rizwan. <laughs> Metal bucket seats. Have you guys ever seen that? <laughs> so Metal. essentially, do you want to tell them the story behind that? So I've left the rear seats out because I've done the low pressure fuel pump. I've done a, re a revo with low pressure fuel pump, but I've been having issues with the ground and stuff like that. So I've been I've left it out to monitor it, and uh, we're just gonna check it. But if you guys ever fit a low pressure fuel pump, don't fit it yourself. Take it to someone to fit it because it's a, it's crazy. It's just the stress isn't worth it. Yep. And so, meanwhile, we have Rizwan over there sitting in the back on bare metal. Yeah, it's starting to get numb now. Yeah. You know, you, 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 remind, you remind me of pigeons that sit on electrical lines. <laughs> the Mark V R32 and the Mark 7 R are very practical cars. Despite having a Haldex fold drive system which eats into boot space, you can still fit a grown man in the boot comfortably. Because of the uh, fuel pressure, thing, this car thinks the car is on no, no fuel. Yeah, so the fuel gauge now is showing zero fuel, guys. Zero so. fuel, and you imagine like assuming that there's no fuel in the car, but you're gonna get that rectified, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, just probably Monday, just take the fuel pump out, probably a while or something. <laughs> And this is making it even more so. That is insane. The turbo spools immediately. It feels like an NA car because of how it's hard it pulls. Well, isn't it? it very... shout out, massive shout out to IE guys. Yeah. They're, they're crazy. And even the gearbox, man. Because IE when you push silly power, sometimes the gearbox can't handle exactly. it. Can't, can't keep up. Correct. But everything is so in sync. I love your exhaust. Tell me about your setup. So it's got Scorpion. The way to the back, but I've kept the stock back box for yep. the valves. You yep. can get a scorpion valve, valve back box, but it's, it's a bit expensive. But yep. I think they drone as well. So just the decal and the res is perfect, to be honest. It's not too loud, it's, not too much. It's, it's perfect, it's got a nice tone. I can't even put into words how fast this car is in comfort mode. Comfort mode is meant to be, it's supposed to be a, you know quite laggy the gearbox, yeah. the throttle, but that is near instant. Yeah, it breathes built on it. You put your seat belts on, but where's the base of the seat to put the belt I in? I don't care. Safety first. Yeah, make sure these are tight. <laughs> Pull it. <laughs> So well put together. They do a good job, man. Check them out, guys. And it's just not over the top. I don't think I have a blink. The car in front gave me a bit of space. I took it. I was like, if you're going to give me space, I'll take it. Oh. Only bad thing about pan roof is your hair. Oh, your fuel's working again. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think Riz on the hot jumping around. Yes, Riz won. Yeah, I'll fix it. Everywhere, <laughs> when I drive a car fast, I only have one rule. One rule. It better stop fast. 
That's my only condition. I will not drive your car fast if you've got poor brakes. You need to have good brakes. And this has excellent brakes. Excellent. These are the kind of brakes I'd expect out of an M car. Exactly how they should. It is. And I'm scared of roller coasters. This is why. Well, you own one, so. <laughs> my friends always tell me to go with them. I feel sick. How do I feel sick as a driver? My organs feel upside down. I think we need to just go to the Draggers. I, I think we need to shoot over to the Draggers. Uh, yeah. What do you think you're going to do, Avid? I would say it's four. Maybe low fours, maybe. The stock is 4.9, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I think it's 4.9. 4.9. Let's see what you can do in it. Let's see. So you're gonna put your launch. You're gonna do actual launch control, yeah? This yeah, launch mode now. Okay, I'm excited, man. Come on, let's see what you're gonna do. That's 60. Got slow. Yeah, it bogged down a bit, didn't it? Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, you got uh, 4.41. That's with three people. Too. But that's with three people. Riz, get out. <laughs> okay, nah. no. Riz, get out. Right. No, I'm being serious. No. Weight matters. No. Attempt number two, what do you think you're gonna get? We got rid of one uh, person's maybe weight. 42 now, maybe? Let's try it, man. Go for it when you're ready. Oh, that's okay, that was 60. Yeah. That was 4.38. Yeah, not bad. This time around, what I'm gonna do is to make it better for Abbott, is um, I'm going to press record. Yeah. And I'm gonna get out of the car. I'm gonna give you the best opportunity. Okay, cool. The best opportunity possible. Don't break my phone, please. Nah, nah, I won't. And make sure you come back. Yep, I'm leaving my phone right oh, there. Get yep. to 60 and it'll automatically. I'll come back for you, don't worry. I'll come back. I'm not coming back for you. Shall I go? Decades, yeah, a decade are, in this car, isn't it? We can yeah. feel it, isn't it? This is definitely um, mid 2000s interior, but uh, how's how, how is everything else about it? Because obviously, this is still an R, it's you still know, an R, of course. So you yeah. have to think that this is the um, the granddad of your car, essentially. Yeah, it's literally yeah. your granddad. So, how does it feel? Uh, well, straight off the bat, the throttle isn't as responsive as mine. <laughs> you are standard, you're not mapped, are you? Uh, so. It's actually got stage one. Oh, okay, cool. So, it has got stage one, but um, 
to be honest, I, sometimes I prefer this for because it's not always it's not always jumping like yeah, mine. Exactly. Like, I'm chilling now. It's just because because there's no turbo in this car. The throttle response all depends on what gear you're in. Okay. That's all the only thing it's relying on really. But in your car, it's relying on it, it's, 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 just, it's just a different level. Mm. But how's everything? How's steering feel? Do you mind? Then, the steering feels good. No, it's like really? The point to where our goal is going. It's not going a different way. But I was going to say the interior as well for the car of this decade is mint. Like Wiz was saying. Yeah, it's really ba nice. basically, basically, this is a very clean R32. Yeah, it is. This has been very well kept and it's one of the cleaner R32s out there. But you were never looking at an R32 no, at I any point never, in your life. Never. You've never been interested because it hasn't got that thing that you want, is yeah, it? Yeah, it it's just not for me, to be honest. I want yeah. to get insured in a 3.2 first of all. You actually would. Oh, I would? You oh. actually would. It's actually cheaper to insure oh, than insured. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. So you could actually get insured. Because so, yeah. it's very uncommon for, for young drivers to, to gain. Get off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's actually doable. But regardless, um, you would never have looked into an R32 never, at any ever. point. No. Is there anything about the R32 that ever appealed to you? The sound, obviously. Just the sound, Even now, at low revs, it's just it's singing. Like, it is. It is. No throttle, no nothing. It yeah. sounds really nice. And you've only got one res delay, which I couldn't yeah, believe. Yeah, that's it. I've only got a res delay. Because even sounds... when I pulled up to meet you, you're like, oh, oh you got a loud exhaust. Yeah. I've like, only done a res delay. One I'm... res delay, and it's, it's probably as loud as mine with a yeah. decal and a res delay. Exactly. So, yeah. Because it's, it's naturally aspirated. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. The noise exiting from the engine to the exhaust, there's nothing in, mm. you know, interfering with it. See. But obviously that does mean it's quite, it can be sluggish and there's no boost, it's yeah, very yeah, linear. Yeah. But there isn't a lot to talk about in terms of... Uh, I mean... I mean, okay, have you ever been interested in NA cars? I've, I had a EP2 once, right. NA. Right, that I was mean, your first car. Yeah, and then the Rebel Marvel cars have been turbo, so... Because clearly, look, you like your power. Yeah, I like power. But for you, power is the biggest factor when it comes yeah, to I feel picking like, a car. Yeah, definitely. You need to have some power. Just yeah, for you, it's not about the raw feel as such. No, it's You not want a go kart. Yeah, I want a go kart, yeah. Just so, beat everyone, you know, just go. Okay, so basically, what I'm sen sensing from this is you're not the biggest fan of the R32 at the box in terms of what's written yeah, in the can correct. because it doesn't appeal to you. No, yeah, the definitely. noise is lovely, but it doesn't have enough of that X factor exactly. for you to really be like, I really want an R32. That's correct, yeah. So. When we start doing some sporty driving, I'm very keen to see if it starts appealing to you. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, going to exactly. be really cool. Right, even short shifting is. Even short shifting yeah, sounds good. I wanted it? to try that first before I scream. Like oh, the the other one, I do miss it online. Oh, that could get addictive, bro. It does get addictive. It's not good for your wallet. Oh, the downshift, fuck you know. I don't know if I can swear. Oh. So even at low speeds. The downshift, man. This also, even, at, even at low speeds, you're loving it. Go oh, gas it. the NA power. I, I, I don't feel it. <laughs> you don't feel it. It's because you're not you're you're very low in the rev range. Yeah no I'm gonna try first pull and see. It's all about power. gears in this yeah, car. Yeah I There's no assistance. That is screaming though man. I can't believe that's a single resolute. That's what I'm saying. I need to go under your car to check man. <laughs> How good does it sound? No, no, like, I'm smiling already. That's what I'm saying. But with these cars, you don't, I don't know, like, you don't really need power. Like, I'm, I'm, you do I'm need happy. power, you do need you power. Do, but, like, but it makes up for in some other ways. I mean, look how congested the roads are, so yeah, you no. can't even really push the no, car. I can't, but you're still having fun. I'm having fun, yeah. So is this what, a pop and bang man, but overall? It's an overall man, yeah, when you but it's off, a very light one. Yeah, it's not I'm an aggressive funny. one. Downshifts, downshifts, they yeah, all sound... With the paddles, the gearbox is sweet. Yeah. Downshifting, no. Some cars you downshift, you have to wait a sec, and then so it goes down. Yeah, it's, it's pretty still... much instant.
isn't it? I do. Can you see I'm letting off? I haven't yeah. got all the way, but. And that's the beauty of the crackle mat because what it does is it allows you to. Otherwise, you're always going to be on the gas. Yeah, always. So, on the gas. but with the pop and crackle mat, what it does is it allows you to sometimes be like, no, let me take it off and yeah, let me hear that yeah, noise. Exactly. It's not always on, which is no. really, really good. It is. But the gearbox is still a DSG. It's oh, still, it's still the DSG. It's yeah. still a DSG. It's still getting pretty much lightning shifts. Yeah, it's quick. Um, you still have the four drive element of your car. I felt it there when I went to that turn. It feels, I think, I don't know, it feels, a bit, it feels the same, but it's a bit heavier at the back, if you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, the most of it is at the front, at the front. because of the heavy engine. Mm. It's got a big engine up front. This is what VW made as an R. Did, because yeah. let's not forget, the Mark IV R32 was the original R. Yeah, this has the exact same engine. Just so, an updated version of it, really. No, it's funny thing. The sad thing is, it's they didn't dumb. update it. So just that's looks. why that's why this engine oh, is almost the weak point of it. They should have made it a bit more better. But nothing faster. changed. Just nothing. The, the same, literally. Long. I think they made it a bit more reliable. They changed a few internals, oh, but okay. power, everything's exactly same. the same. Oh, okay. I'm sitting in this car, feeling like we've driven two different cars. But we have, but isn't it? You can't really? believe they come from the same yeah, lineage. Yeah, you can't. It's like a whole different like world, to be honest. Exactly. Like, family, like, it's the same family but different world. Like. It doesn't feel like they're linked at all. We know we are really up their game now, man. Yeah, this goes to show how the world changed. Oh, wow. that, was, that was nice. That, that is nice, isn't it? Straight? Yeah. to believe both these cars share the same letter in the name. Going from the R32 to the R20 was a complete change in recipe. The flavour of the Mark IV and Mark V was lost with the downsizing of the engine and VW saw other means to give the taste that a customer of the flagship Golf will be after, just like how sugar has been replaced to sweeteners in soft drinks. Just like those zero sugar drinks, the Golf R left a bad taste in my mouth in stock form, but Avid has shown the potential of the stock turbo and I have to say just like the drinks, they may not have the taste I'm after but it's not a bad substitute. I'm a firm believer in there's no replacement for displacement, but props to Abbott for showing me that the Mark 7R is very enjoyable when tuned and modified correctly. The R32 heritage has been lost on the 7R, but I can't be mad because even humans can't live up to the stories of our ancestors, so why should the Mark 7 be any different? All I can say is rest in peace to the R32's lineage. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and we'll see you soon on the next one. Take care.